Okay, so what we're gonna show you now is this crack that we repaired. It's been about 20 minutes, and you know the product's ready to uh, prep and remove when it's turned white like this. So here's the crack right here, and you see how we've, you know, overfilled it, and um, so this all needs ground down flush. Now, you could probably just hit this with your, you know, planetary grinder if you're gonna grind, or you can hit it with a hand grinder to knock it flush. Or if you don't have any of those, like a, so what we have on the hand grinder is just a cup wheel, okay? We sell these cup wheels. Um, or you can get what we call a flap disc at a hardware store. This happens to be a uh, 60 grit. Um, this is an off-brand, but they're typically called gator pads, but it's a flap disc. And you can put it on a normal hand grinder and knock this down. Um, and do it that way. We're gonna grind it off. So I'm just gonna show you, you just wanna grind this flush with the floor. Um, here we go. So I've got it hooked up to the HEPA vacuum, safety glasses. So we ground a little area to show you here, and you can see this is completely flush right here. There are some air pockets in it. Now, if you're doing a coating system like we've got, you know, most likely, especially with a flake system, your poly 90 is gonna go in there and fill that, um, and, and you shouldn't worry about it. If you are, you could hit it again really quick and fill those in. Um, typically, not too much to worry about, especially with a flake system. Now, if you're going to do our color on color system, a solid color type system, um, I, I would recommend you fill it and get it flush. But, you know, this is good repair right here. So um, that's the prep of the cracks.